7 o'clock in the morning and these pigeons are tearing this Popeyes up. These are some rabid Vegas pigeons. They are not to be messed with. They were they are not scared of you. If I walk over there, they're not gonna they're not gonna move. They might attack me. It's, ain't safe in these streets, man. It ain't all what it seems here. It might look all palm trees and glitz and glamour, but Vegas just like this. Kinda of ironically, the van life pulls up in front of the pigeons. Uh, and <laughs> since we're on the topic, the van life, this is van life for you. One dollar bag of cereal from the Dollar Tree and then a one dollar thing of milk from the grocery store. And you got bagged cereal and milk for two dollars. And pigeons that are getting closer to me. Get back, pigeons! I'm back in Chicago, I flew first class I'm a rich man, I came up on a broke ass Copping clothes, attracting hoes that they can't grab I'm doing shows, not for the low, I need 10 racks Did I say 10? I can't count, I need 50, 50 uh, Ain't no fighting when I'm around, I got semi with me You wanna feature with your budget, I need a pretty penny I'm so sorry, I can't help it, I feel too sedity, yeah I was 13, trying to steal a Montclair Now I could buy everything in Montclair Give away the clothes that I don't wear My mom right real quick With the little Zaza we got Oh yeah And by the way I'm vegan now So I only eat fruit and plants I'm like a fucking deer Straight up, here's why I'm going vegan though Vegan gas as well No pesticides No PGRs No bullshit Cause number one I feel like if if the creator of this earth didn't put it on on it on this earth for you like this gas like this fruit like vegetables and everything else salads and shit then why are we eating i guess you could say animals are put on this earth but do you think that we're supposed to be eating cows like i just looked at cows one day and was like bro they just like dogs just like horses just like these other animals that we don't eat so why do we eat these certain animals Probably just because mm, that's probably low vibrational. And I've noticed that these past couple of days when I'm not smoking no PGR, Zaza, I had some purple Zaza. Oh, shit, boy. But that shit was, that's the, that, it, it was the bullshit, though. It was the bullshit, though. The shit that makes you feel horrible. But we hit 3,000 followers. That's what this video is about. 3,000 subscribers. Maybe one day I can get a haircut and I look homeless, clean up the van a little bit. As you see, it's pretty fucking messy right now. But I also kind of don't care at all. That I don't wear, cause I still care. Even though I don't give a fuck, I guess I still care. I can't see my demons, but I know they still there. Even though these drugs that kill me, no, I'm not scared. So I put perks in my double cup. Had to take the Gucci sweater off. I started throwing up. And the Had difference between this and the other shit, the highs are the same. It's just the flavor, bro. So it's starting to make me think that they're the that flavor is not a good thing. But this also some mids. I need to get the exotic natural shit. Stay tuned. Juice World's birthday a couple days ago. What I gotta say to y'all though, bro. Straight up, crypto went up and down. So my emotions went up and down. That's where all my money is invested. I don't. Cause look, if you got your money in a bank account. At least in, if you haven't invested somewhere else, you got a chance for that shit to go up. But as I learned this week, that shit could easily go down. So, like, my money went up a lot, and then it went down, like, the same damn amount. So, I really didn't come up at all. So, I'm learning, though, like, I could, I should have, I should have done, I should have got out of it once I got up. And then reinvested when it dropped. Instead, I just held my investment. So, now I'm still holding it's starting to go up today so that's good <laughs> what else is a life update i'm finna go to oregon bro i learned that the city i learned about the city a lot in vegas and it's for me but i need to i, I like people get trapped in the city and they cities full of sins and full of low vibrational bs 
and then a few people benefiting off everybody else's habits and just if whether it's gambling whether it's all the alcohol stores here whether it's all the dispensaries or street dispensaries like bro it's a it's a lot of people gambling or not a lot of people benefiting off other people's addictions so or just problems in the city whereas in the country you don't have no people so you're all it's all about you and hmm what's up nothing's really bad has happened though bro like you would think that i just move so smart though so i don't try to get myself in situations where a horrible thing can happen like some of these crackheads mess with i haven't even been messed with by a crackhead i got since i got more stories from when i was younger i need to start telling some of them stories for sure oh let me um let me get a thumbnail pic real quick you can tell when a motherfucker is living right and this man has been living right for about a week or two weeks bro like i really started to put all my energy and time into self-care as you see i'm in front of the tv screen with a 30 ass fan and i don't care i need to, <laughs> the little self-care needs to go in and clean it up my home but at least i'm happy bro at least I'm happy, healthy, and alive, and got the ability to shock the world, bro. Because once I get up, bro, people get up with their money, bro, and guess what they do? They go buy a church designer, and they buy chains and shit to make it look like, they buy cars, houses, buy anything to make it look like they got money. When, if you would just keep getting money and invest that money bigger and better, bro, you'll really have a lot of money, and then one day a long time from now you can buy whatever you want to buy but right now you cannot spend your money unless it's an investment bro like who are you trying to impress because you're not what you what you <laughs> you're faking let me go i had a point let me see the point to this video bro bro look, quick story time bro because i never told this story bro but it i feel like it it needs to be on my page because this is a big turning point in my life <laughs> <laughs> these girls bro it's the first time i've ever hung out with females it was in arkansas too bro four females bro invited me over and we was all drinking and shit it was like it was four of them and one of me bro and you would think like this is a good this is a good diet it's a good vibe <laughs> no the shit scared the fuck out of me or i was having fun and shit but it was different girls are different A couple hours into it, it's like two or three in the morning. One, they're they're trying to, they're getting a little drunk, and they're all wanting, they're like all wanting to fuck me and shit. But so, I, I'm getting nervous though, like bro, when and they're attractive to only like two of them were all right, two of them were fine, but the two that were all right still had fine bodies. Like these were fine girls. You know how pretty girls hang with pretty girls. These were all pretty girls. And now I'm I'm only like this is last year in college, bro. So I'm like 19, bro. Just young, dumb, first time hanging out with multiple girls at once. <laughs> bro, they all were coming on me, bro. And then it clicked in my head like, bro, it's not normal, bro. Something bad finna happen. I'm finna get killed. They were asking me if uh, if if I knew some guys. And the guys that they were asking me if I knew, I did know them. And they weren't known for doing good things. So I'm like, why y'all asking me about these people at 2 in the morning anyways? But... I'm probably drunk too though, so I'm really tripping because I've already been over here for like three hours. So I don't know why what I was thinking, but all of a sudden I got the good the gut feeling to get the F out of there. And they they're like literally fighting me, bruh, cause I put my clothes on real quick and they're like pulling my arms and shit. And then another one's like holding the door shut and bruh, it is it's crazy, bruh. We're all the same age too. Like they were all that it was their apartment. Like they were grown. I don't know how they had an apartment, but and fucking it was uh like 18, 19, I guess it was like four of them and one uh it was one of those you just rent a room out and but they all they were all friends and they all had the same room, the same place though, so like they were all paying per room. It was nice though. But yeah, bro, they, I was so scared, bro. When when one of them's having the door shut and I had already made I ran out. I'm a big dude, like 
these are girls, but they're like when four people are holding you back, and then the ones at the door hold the door shut. I'm trying to pull the door open, and then you got all these other ones pulling me back. I'm dead ass scared. Like I'm, I'm. At first, I thought I was like I was just nervous. Now at this point, I'm scared. I'm throwing girls off me like, phew, phew, shoving them, bro. Like get the fuck. I'm yelling shit, bro. Like I'm dead ass. Like thinking I'm finna. This bitch about to be my last days. <laughs> off for try to get some Gucci. And then it turns out, bro, they, like, find me, bro, in the car. I take off. <laughs> you know, that adrenaline hits you, bro. Running isn't nothing, bro. You can run a mile, two miles, and not even be tired. Just because you're nervous as fuck. I, I think I ran all the way almost back to campus. or jog I was, like, I started jogging at one point. Still, because I'm drunk, though, bro. Like, it ain't nothing to me, huh? Oh I'm laughing though. I'm laughing like, bro, they wasn't gonna do nothing to me. Like, I'm tripping, but am I tripping? I could have died. Anyways, they pull up in a car, bro. This shit scared the fuck out of me. I didn't know it was them. Like, hey, come here, come here. And then I, I'm like, oh, okay, it's them. I come over there. I start talking to them. They is normal. Like, I probably was tripping. I think I went back over there one more time. And some some BS happened. The one girl who, one girl found me, so she thought that she could have, but I ended up going to the finer friend. So the, the, the one that found me was getting really mad because I didn't want her. But you, girl, I love when girl, I love when girls say, um, I'm not trying to hook up. I'm not trying to do anything. And then they get around me in person and they get so horny. And it's like, and then I'm like, bro, I thought you weren't trying to do anything. And then they're trying to do stuff. And I'm like, I told you, bro. I knew this shit was going to happen. <laughs> I knew this shit was going to happen. Let me give y'all some advice about girls, bro. Number one, all these girls are different. But they're all the same at the same time. Not all of them. I'm, I'm talking about the majority. Because I still believe that there's like 10% of women that are just superior to even men and they're just the most superior beings on the planet and you should like when i find one of those i might worship her but it's but all the other 90 percent of females there's like seven different categories and as long as you can figure out what category this girl belongs in that's how you talk to her and treat her like some girls want you to simp and be super nice some girls want you to be mean some girls want you to just be normal some girls want you to like show attention some girls don't want you to show attention want, want to chase you like there's all these different games that these fucking women play bro and once you get on the opposite side and like i guess you you're not entered you're not in the games no more you're not playing the games you're like you're watching the games you can run the games you can choose which game you want to play and win because once you get a girl on like once you know a girl a girl likes you then you take control of the game if you are smart enough because at first it's the woman always has control but then once she likes you but she'll never show it she'll never admit it that she likes you but you'll know if you pick up if you pick up signs you'll know you'll know then boom now you're in control of the game you got to know what game you even want to play though both guys just want to get some coochie, so that's what they do. That shit's getting old to me, bro. I'm, I don't know. I'm trying to elevate with these, all these females that want me. I need to elevate with them, but I don't know how yet. I need to figure out a way to make money with them. But I don't know where that all came from. Like, why we even start talking about that? But just a, just a tip though, guys. Man, all a guy wants from a girl, honestly, is a girl is somebody who is gonna be there for him next year. Like, honest to God, guys, what what woman was with you last year, bro? I can't even get girls to stay with me a couple like a week. Like as soon as we hang out, they get what they want. It's like it's over with, bro. They that's all they wanted from the jump. Bro, look who it is. Got him. That's crazy, right bro. Here. Right here on the strip. Crazy. Shout out, y'all. But that's a, just a whole. There's a, that's, that's a group of shallow girls. That's the like out of the seven groups, one of them is shallow, and a lot of people belong in that group where they just like.
they're only thinking about today, but they're thinking about today in the wrong way. They're not trying to make the most of today. They're trying to like, just get their, how much pleasure can I get in one day? You're not supposed to like, fuck, I, oh, I hate those girls. Those, uh, all, the only fine girls that super, super fine girls that hit me up are like this, bro. When actually here recently, I've been, I got a, like two or three of them that I think are not like this, but that the super fine women, cause they, cause that's all they've ever been wanted for. They've got people only look at them for their outside if they're super fine. So they've, they've adapted to that, to that way of living. <sighs> when you got all the other super fine girls who don't even go out in public and shit because they already know guys are just gonna objectify them. There's no way around it because like you're, they're so damn beautiful that you you have to like, <laughs> not you have to objectify them, but like you you can't like ignore their beauty and their body and everything. So they just stay to themselves and I don't know what they do. I can't speak for them women. I don't know what they do, but those are the good. Those are the those are the ones that I really want. And then there's a lot of girls who don't. They're not fine as hell, but they're good-ass people, though, bro. And those are the ones you want, too, though. Those are really the ones you want, for real, for real. And those are the ones I'm meeting right now. But, bro, it's nothing wrong with being friends, bro. We're young as hell, bro. And if you are attracted to your friend, bro, like, that's cool, too. You don't have to be dating somebody to have a sexual relationship with them. Like, they don't know. If that's what you want to do because you're young, dumb, and full of, you know what? So be it, bro. Have fun. Don't, don't, don't live your whole life conservative because you're scared of sinning and doing wrong because it's not a sin or do it. Like, if you feel like something's wrong, if you literally feel like it's wrong, then it's wrong and you're not supposed to do it. But... If you're young and you and dumb and you later fit hindsight's 2020, like you could do something you you have no idea that you, what you're doing is wrong. That's not wrong because you're you're supposed to learn somehow. Like put it this way. Hmm. Let me try to think what I'm talking about. Like you can learn the hard way, or you can learn from people that hooking up with with girls just randomly like tourists on the strip like people probably think i do which i i kind of dabbled in but not really but tourists on the strip beautiful women that just come here and they get drunk and they want to they want to do the dirty <laughs> you could do that and think that, that that's and that what you're doing is fun and right and just fun but once you start noticing how you feel you're going eventually you're going to be like man this this shit is nothing this is bringing my vibrations down this is my energy down like this is this is where my energy is going this is where my focus is and it's like an addiction but it's sucking your energy instead of your money or time or some shit like that i guess it's sucking your time too but but that doesn't mean you don't need to stop meeting people though that's just you learn like okay i don't need to be hooking up with all these guys if you're a girl or whatever whatever you like i guess you can be whatever and like whatever but whatever you are and whatever you into whatever you're into doesn't mean you don't need to stop meeting them and going on dates and hooking up with the ones you feel like you need to hook up with because that's just what you feel is right at the point in the moment don't always do that, bro. Because if you listen to your brain and your head over your feel, like no, 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 no. Feelings is the wrong. Feelings and and emotions are in the head. This gut feeling that's from your higher power, like your your guardian angel, your spirit, your spirit, whatever. That's like it doesn't come. It it doesn't come with no reasoning to it. It's just okay. This is what I feel is right. But. Humans, and I know y'all probably heard this before, humans will always make up an explanation if like just to satisfy their own brain, even if it it sounds real and it could be real, but there's like how like, that shit how do you know that shit's real or not? You're just like coming up with that because it sounds right. And but a lot of humans don't think like that. They just go along with it, like, oh it sounds right. Oh yeah, that that has to be what happened. 
No, you don't know what happened a lot of times. A lot of people live their life like that and make decisions based on knowledge like that. And that, I don't know, that's lying to yourself though. As long as you never lie to yourself, then you're gonna know the difference between right and wrong because your gut feeling's gonna tell you. You never have to question anything. A lot of people question stuff because they listen to that voice in their head more, which I used to. That's like, that's the facts. Like you need it, you need it right there in front of you on paper and shit to, to believe it. When, who are you, bro? Who are you? Why does your brain need to come up with it? Like, man, I, I don't know. I don't even know why we're talking about this shit. Let's talk about some extraterrestrial shit. Like, I need to do a little re religion video, bro. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start getting, I'm gonna start doing more in-depth talks for sure. Especially when the bro WAP. This is a life update video. The homie WAP is coming in like two week, like next, like two weekends. So it's up there and it's stuck there. And we're going wild. <laughs> It's gonna be Vegas going wild. We're gonna see these girls going wild, man. And just know if this crypto shit blow, when this crypto shit blows, this van is gonna be the secondary one. I'm gonna have the big body, uh, whatever I used to call me. I don't even know how the song goes, but I'm on the come up. Band life is on the come up. B Gib is on the come up. Y'all are on the come up because we're all on, our journey is a lot harder and because we're woke to everything. So like I don't know, bro. Just know that when we all excel and succeed in life, especially with me, when I succeed in life, whoever is on my side with y'all, like all y'all who comment all the time, like y'all think I'm gonna just forget about y'all. <laughs> like y'all think I'm gonna buy chains. Y'all think I'm gonna buy a designer. Like imagine dead ass what I'm gonna do with some real money, bro. Y'all just gonna have to wait and see. Y'all just gonna have to wait and see. I'm dead ass gonna change this world, bro. On some ball shit. I'm gonna have everything given to me, bro. Like, people gonna, like, man. My charity, my charities are really gonna get shit done, bro. People raise hundreds of thousands of million dollars, and I feel like they don't get shit done because they pay people. And then the people, they take their pay cuts and go buy some jewelry or whatever, some personal shit. And then with the other half of the money, then they go help people or whatever. I'm not, I don't, I don't have no personal desire, bro. Like I wear a white t-shirt for the rest. Of, I wear my own clothes for the, like the ones I made, the ones I normally wear. I kind of don't know where the freak they're at. They're somewhere in the van. The van is hella dirty right now. The van kind of describes my life right now, but also the van describes my life is in the motor is good the the like it just gets me to where i'm going it's just like on the inside that bitch is crazy and hectic but this shit still serves the purpose that it needs to serve and as long as you're serving the purpose you need to serve then it's okay if you don't have everything together because at least you're not faking the funk at least you're not actually making money and blowing it wasting it bro like at least you're just broke so when you when you do get up, you're going to know what the fuck. You're going to know what's. Damn, I'm pretty as uh, pretty as light skin girl. Hmm. <laughs> Curly hair, light skins. DM me at B B G I B 22. You know, we love y'all over here. <laughs> Some, 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 some. What's it called? Scooby Snacks done went down my throat. But yeah, we love the Asian girl, Asian women, Filipino women. We love every race. We love white too, but I don't think white loves me. <laughs> oh no, I met some good white girls though. Good white women. So I, I like I like all races. I ain't there's I don't know if Marshallese. Y'all don't know about the Marshallese, man. I love them people, though. I ain't never talked to one of them women, though. But I love the men. 
man like i want to travel this world and meet like there's so many different races probably that i haven't met like there's islanders that i don't know if the islanders want to meet me but there's uh, so many just different type of people like in france and in russia and then like i'm gonna travel and bring this world together bro like i'm gonna do sh i'm gonna man if i don't do none of this stuff i say then I don't even know what to tell you. I, I must I must die. Like if y'all find this page and I'm not famous and I'm not posting no more, then I must have died. <laughs> Just straight up, like I don't know what else I'm gonna do in my life. And I'm not gonna work a normal job. I'm not gonna do nothing normal. So I don't got no other choice but to do some shit like this. You feel me? So I love y'all though. Let me know what y'all want me to talk about next. Drop some, drop some uh, topics. Drop some anything. I'm just gonna keep posting what I want to post. Probably I'm gonna do that regardless. So just stay tuned for the next random video. Don't know what it's gonna be. Hopefully it's a Izzy's video. Izzy's supposed to send me some clips, some videos, and I'm supposed to upload them. But you know how that goes. Until then. Up some likes, some comments on all my videos, bro. I, I reply to all of them. Merch in my Instagram, you the normal little tie dye joints or the vegan van life joints. I'll be wearing fire and just wait till I'm not in this situation no more. Because then all of y'all who watch me right now, y'all are literally gonna feel so motivated because y'all see somebody. That everybody counted out. Like, I don't got no friends like that, really, bro. Everybody counted me out. Like, y'all know my friends. But I'm saying, like, other than what y'all see me and what y'all see me doing, like, I be alone, like, all the time, bro. I be alone all the time. These females, like, man, I feel like they just want to talk to everybody. They just want to text me, bro, because they, I don't hang out with none of them like that, so. It's not gonna be like this forever though. And y'all got to, y'all seen me, so y'all should know that y'all, y'all's life is gonna be just like that. It's just hard right now. It's just hard right now. We're about to find success. It's been 22 minutes and seven seconds. And I couldn't ask for a better audience, man. Blaze up, have a wonderful day. It's probably around 420 right now. <laughs>